Hi guys, welcome back to Graceful Beauty. My name is Sherry and today I'm really excited to share this video with you because IT Cosmetics just came out with a brand new foundation. This is their confidence in a foundation. It's supposed to be oil free, full coverage, long wearing, and they're saying it's supposed to be up to 24 hours of wear, which, you know, I would never wear it that long. I don't really know anybody that does wear their foundation that long. But with it being full coverage and long wearing, they also say that it feels lightweight on the skin. And the finish is supposed to be a beautiful velvety matte finish that doesn't crease or crack. I ordered the shade Medium Sand and I only tested it on my hand last night because it came yesterday. And I do think it's too light, but whatever. I'm gonna put it on my face today because I'll just darken it up with a little bit of bronzer. And then if I do like it, I will get a darker shade eventually. And as far as shades go, this comes in in 48 different shades so it does give you more options than what the CC creams come in. The claims on this foundation are also that it's perfect for sensitive skin and even though it has a velvety matte finish it says it has hydrating ingredients in it such as ceramides, peptides, hydrolyzed collagen, hyaluronic acid, and squalling. It came in this really nice glass bottle and I love that it has a pump on it. Now I'm just gonna tell you guys before I even start applying this and I could be wrong when I swatched it on my hand and rubbed it in, the way it wore on my hand and the way it seemed waterproof. I don't think it claims that it's waterproof, but I had to wash my hands a few times to get this off, which I do like because you don't want your foundation constantly coming off, but it almost felt like my Estee Lauder double wear. So what I'm going to eventually do once I get the right shade, I am going to do my Estee Lauder double wear on one side and I'll do this on the other just to compare. I'm just going to start out with one pump. Now they say to use it with one of their brushes. I have one of their, let's see, their Heavenly Skin brushes. I typically, I love this brush. It's so soft, but honestly, I don't really like applying foundation with a brush. I like to use a blending sponge. I prefer my Real Techniques or my Sigma 3D HD. So what I want to do, since I haven't tested it on my face yet, I want to try one side with a brush and the other side with a sponge and see what finish I like the best. So yeah, you can see how light this is for me because usually when you try a foundation, it should just blend into your skin. But you know, that's okay. For today, we're just gonna still try it out anyways. That's all I'm gonna use for now because it does seem like it's pretty full coverage. I absolutely do not like this brush with it at all. And oh my gosh, this is so light. Okay, let's just scratch the brush. Let's just do what I always do and go straight to a blending sponge. This is by Real Techniques and yeah, much better. And by the way, I've already prepped my face. I've done my morning skincare, what I normally do, and then I put on my sunscreen. The sunscreen I do have on is one of my favorites. It's the Skin Medica Essential Defense. It's an SPF 32, all mineral, and it's a tinted sunscreen. Now, I normally don't bring my foundation all the way up under my eyes because I like to leave the room for my concealer so it doesn't, you know, get all creasy and cracky, but I just want to see how full coverage this is because sometimes, since I don't have super dark circles, sometimes I'm actually able to get away with just using the foundation alone under my eyes. I mean, this is really full coverage, but I mean, look how pale this is on my skin. It's so light. And then I have some blemishes here that are just taking for, they're gone, but it's been like a week and a half, two weeks, and they're just, they leave red spots on my face, so they take forever to heal, but let's just see how it covers it. And it covers it really well, but even though it's too light, again, I do still see my skin peeking through. I don't have to put a huge layer on. This is still just that one pump that I'm working with, so one pump might be plenty for my entire face. Oh. Okay, I'm kind of, I'm really I'm really liking this so far. And you know what? I actually like this better than my Estee Lauder Double Wear. Sometimes with my Estee Lauder Double Wear, it doesn't blend as easily and I just feel like I'm really working hard to blend at it. And don't ever put your Estee Lauder Double Wear all over your face first and then try to blend it because it dries that fast. This gives me plenty of time to work with the formula and then just blend it out and I'm really liking this. Gosh, I wish I had gotten the right color. So So right now it does feel a little tacky, so I think I am going to set it with a little bit of powder here in a little bit, but it doesn't feel heavy. It definitely feels lightweight. 
I do still have a beautiful glow to my skin, but yet this is like a semi-matte finish. So I think this is perfect if you have oily skin or if you have dry skin because it does have those hydrating ingredients. But I will say this is so full coverage, but my skin is still peeking through. And I mean, I don't know how they do that, but it's pretty darn good. I haven't even put concealer on these blemishes yet or underneath my eyes. And it's not even getting all cracky underneath my eyes. My skin is a smidge, you know, I have oily skin normally, but my skin is a smidge dry with some dry patches because, you know, I've been using my Retin-A a little bit more aggressively lately, trying to get my skin cells to turn over more. It's not making my pores disappear, but the one thing I'm loving, it's not accentuating my pores or making them look bigger. And I do feel like I still have a nice glow, so my skin does look hydrated and plump, but it does give me that kind of velvety matte finish, but not that cakey matte drying look. I do feel like my skin looks like skin, even though I know I look pale, but up close in a mirror, my skin just looks like skin. It doesn't look like I have a thick layer of makeup on, and that's the kind of makeup that I love. I don't know, I'm actually excited to get the proper shade and then do a side-by-side -side comparison with my Estee Lauder Double Wear because you guys, I, I don't know, maybe it's just me. If any of you guys end up trying this, I mean, I ordered mine to get rush delivery because I saw it and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to try that. But it's, I think it's only on at Cosmetics website. So if you do get it and try it, let me know what you guys think of this compared to Estee Lauder Double Wear. So I'm just gonna finish the rest of my makeup off camera real quick, and then I'm gonna come right back and I'm going to show you guys up close. I'm gonna turn the ring light off and just show you a natural sunlight so you guys can really see what this foundation looks like on my skin. So I finished the rest of my makeup, and I'll link down below the makeup that I am wearing today, but I've only had this foundation on for maybe an hour, and I'm absolutely loving it so far, minus, you know, the shade that's a little too light. I didn't even use a primer before I tried this foundation because I just wanted to see what it would look like without a primer. It's finally dried down. I lightly powdered it. I didn't have to put much on at all, and you guys, I didn't even put concealer over these blemishes. Now, I can still sort of see them, but not too much, and then I did put a smidge of concealer underneath my eyes because I wanted to see how my Dermablend concealer would layer over top of this, but I, I honestly didn't, wouldn't even have needed concealer and I still would have gotten an extremely full coverage but skin-like uh, wear with this. So I'm loving it and I don't even have highlighter on my face. I did start putting a smidgey down my nose and I thought, well wait, I feel like I already have such a nice glow anyways with this foundation. So I'm just gonna get a little bit closer. I'm gonna turn off the ring light, open up the blind some more so that you can really get a good feel of what this foundation looks like on my skin. Okay, so here it is up close with the ring light on and I don't put my ring light up really high. You guys know I have migraines so I have it on the lightest setting. So I'm just gonna click this off real quick. And now you can see what my skin looks like. So you can see where these blemishes are, but I think it covers really well. Let me give you some more light from these windows. I just don't want it to make too much of a glare. I did not sleep well last night. Look at the bags under my eyes. Last night was a rough sleeping night. I'm really loving this foundation. Just to say something really quick too, I never use filters. Not that I think there's anything wrong with people that do them, but since I'm always trying to show you how things look on my skin, I don't wanna do like blurring filters or anything in my videos or photos that would make you guys think that the product I'm talking about is really better than it is. I wanna show you my true skin. I wanna show you all my imperfections with you know, my melasma, hyperpigmentation, my acne, acne scarring, my large pores, my wrinkles. So how are you gonna know if you wanna buy something if we're putting filters and Photoshopping and you know, doing all that to our face? So you know, again, not saying there's anything wrong with people that like to do that, but just for me, you will never see me doing filters and Photoshopping and things like that on my channel because First of all, I don't know how to do that. But second of all, that would defeat the whole purpose of what I'm trying to share with you so that you can see if it's something that might work for you. And if I'm showing you how flawless it looks and I'm completely pluralist because I put this filter over my camera while I'm filming, then how will you really know if it's something you know that might work for you so I'm really excited that I got to share this with you guys today and I'm going to continue to try it out and wear it not for 24 hours but probably for like eight or nine or ten hours and see how it holds up I'm just gonna say right now I think it is so very similar to double wear but tons better so I'm sorry Estee Lauder I know you don't know who I am anyways and I know it cosmetics doesn't know who I am but 
I, I like this a lot better than my double wear and I'm actually loving this better than my it cosmetics CC cream that I wear in almost every single video another thing I love the way my blush went on over top I felt like this had like a primer built in it and remember I was saying it was kind of sticky or tacky at first but it wasn't sticky to where things would get blotchy I feel like when I did my bronzer and my blush it just I only needed a little bit of it and look how it's lasted so well and normally within an hour it's like hey where'd my blush go and then I'm trying to like add some more so but again the real test will be how it continues to wear you know over the next week or so as I keep testing it out I hope you guys liked today's video if you did like this video I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and if you are not subscribed to my channel but you would like to be just look down below and tap on that subscribe button and if you want to make sure you get notified every time I post a new video you just have to tap that bell otherwise YouTube probably will not give you that notification Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.